Hi. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for Insider Kula's new segment, Rapid Fire Questions. We are making you go first because this was <laughs> your idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? Sure. What is your favorite emoji? I love the upside down smiley. <laughs> <laughs> me too. What is your favorite library? I actually love the Wilberforce Public Library. It's this tiny little library um, and it's near the cottage I went to growing up and it just means a lot. I, get, I feel really nostalgic about it. Is it pretty tiny? It's super tiny. It actually doesn't even exist in the way that it used to. They have a brand new one that's super pretty. That's lovely. Um, okay, what is your favorite children's book? Oh, that's a good one. I was just, uh, my son is younger, is he's two, so I think I think about this a lot. And one that I really love is The Tale of the Two Bad Mice, Beatrix Potter. I love that too. How, oh, how, what would you prefer, coffee or tea? Oh, this is a tough one. Definitely tea. Tea. So how do you get your jolt? Is it caffeinated tea? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and how, tea. <laughs> how many cups a day? Oh, way too many. Yeah, probably <laughs> three or four cups of tea. <laughs> One of the benefits of working from home, I guess, right? Definitely. Who is your favorite character from a book? Anne of Green Gables. <laughs> oh, wow. How old were you when you read it first? <laughs> probably grade four, grade five. Yeah, I, I just went through the whole series so quick. I actually borrowed them from my teacher at the time. I was just so in love with her. <laughs> She is a character that really sticks with you, especially when you meet her as a young girl. <laughs> Definitely. Board games or video games? Oh, this is tough. I guess probably board games for me. I'm not much of a video game person. <laughs> okay, and what is your favorite game? Do puzzles count? I feel like I really enjoy a good puzzle. <laughs> it's 2020, puzzles definitely count. <laughs> I feel like puzzles really had to come back this year. <laughs> yeah. And what are you currently reading? I'm currently reading The Flight Attendant. Um, I started the TV show and absolutely loved the first couple of episodes, so decided to go back and read the book. And which is better so far? Uh, they're both so good. I'm just, it's hard to tell. I'm not finished either, so I'm not gonna judge it quite yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if you weren't working in a library, what would you be doing? I would be reselling vintage clothes on Etsy. <laughs> That seems fitting. We'll come back to that question. <laughs> Where will you travel once we can travel easily and safely again? Oh, I want to go back to Paris so bad. <laughs> and what would your ideal office look like? Oh, this is such a great question. Definitely lots of light, a big open desk with room to write in notebooks, but also to set up my computer, to draw on my iPad. And yeah, just lots of open space. I love that. <laughs> Hashtag goals or dreams. <laughs> and uh, cats or dogs? I see your dog behind you right now. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, what is your funniest or weirdest reference question you've ever had to answer? Oh, it's been so long since I've been on a reference desk, which sounds kind of strange. Um, I, I can't think of anything weird or funny, but definitely a lot of where's the bathroom. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> That seems like a, a safe place <laughs> one, so actually that's that's good. <laughs> um, okay, what's your least favorite library-related stereotype? Probably that we all have cats. I feel like that comes up a lot. I love my dog, so dogs are in there too. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and what's one piece of advice you'd give to new grads? I think to be really open-minded. I think that the path that you go down isn't always what you'd expect. I think when I started library school, I was dead set that I was going to be a public librarian and that I was gonna work with children and do stuff around literacy. And that's not at all where I ended up, but I absolutely love what I do. I think that's really good advice too. Uh, and I also started in public library, so um, <laughs> we have that in common and look where we ended up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to um, switch over to a couple of questions that are related to your Instagram and Tumblr account, what the, library, uh, what the librarian wore. So oh let's do some rapid fire questions related to fashion. Okay. <laughs> okay, so cardigan or pullover? Cardigan. Okay. <laughs> I felt like that was a pretty self-explanatory uh, one having looked at the account. So um, your favorite accessory? Oh, a good pair of glasses. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> and a choice library style icon. Oh gosh. Uh, EVDC, which is, she's amazing. I, I think like, <laughs> we feature her a lot. Um, her collection of dresses is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check her out now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and last one, what is your favorite outfit? Oh, my Maybe even something outfit. you've worn to an OLA in the past. I feel like that's like where it, like the place yeah. showed up. I absolutely love a good jumpsuit. Um, during quarantine, I've been a little obsessed with jumpsuits and have purchased way more um, than I probably need. But I have one that's completely all denim and I can't wait to get to wear that to a conference at some point. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get to see it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you so much for joining us today. And, um, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>